Hello there everyone, Ash and Flash here and welcome on into a early LEGO Marvel Super Heroes review. Today we are looking at set number 76185, Spider-Man at the Sanctum Workshop. And this set is actually based off of Spider-Man No Way Home and this will be actually releasing on October the 1st for $39.99 USD or $49.99 Canadian. And I was actually able to pick this set up early at Walmart here in Canada, thanks to my friend Sensei Stealth for finding these. I am so excited about the movie, and this set is really the only one based off the movie so far. So hopefully we get some more in the future, but there is a lot to go through here, and I'm really excited to share with you. So without further ado, let's go ahead and let's take a closer look at this set. So here it is all together, and I really love the look of this. It definitely looks like stuff we've seen a little bit from the trailers, which I really enjoy. Uh, specifically, this part here with this trim I think looks really, really cool. It definitely looks like the dungeon or wherever they're casting the spell in the trailer so far. And there's a lot of really cool stuff here. So you've got kind of like almost like a storage unit here which we'll take a closer look at a little bit of like a computer lab setup here then you've got like a gamer couch with no tv and then uh, you've also got a bike hanging and i guess you could work on the bike with some of the tools and stuff there on the little workshop area but yeah i think that this is really cool all of these are stickers we're not sure if it's like a portal or if it's just like a gate into or like just a doorway into i guess the lower parts of the sanctum presumably since there's a lot of rock and stuff like that and it just seems to be more in the basement it doesn't really look like anything we've sort of seen from the sanctum from the trailers um, but yeah really really cool let's go section by section so out of this chest there's like some sort of monster trying to break free I guess and it's pretty cool honestly this little build here it's very simple but I love the colors the bright green really just stands out you've got a little uh, stereo there or a boom box as well as a hourglass which I've never actually gotten this piece before so it's really cool to get here personally for the first time and you've got a little cookie as well as a mug which I think is pretty funny given in the trailer with Doctor Strange and the mug and then also on that computer there if we zoom on in and you could see actually on the computer there a bunch of like newspaper articles online about I think that's meant to be Peter Parker there and like the big poster that you see of the reveal of Peter Parker being Spider-Man and you've got Mysterio there in the back and underneath there like in behind the main article I think it's just like a bunch of code or something and it says bugle which is kind of interesting in red and you've got a keyboard underneath and then in behind here you've actually got this like rack that has a ton of different things on the shelf so you've got a little toolbox there in dark blue as well as a cauldron with like a, a little handle there in gold some potions or something like that I'm not quite sure what that actually is at the top here a red crystal which is really cool as well as I'm assuming that's meant to be like a little camera for Peter Parker and then up above you got an egg as well as this I don't know little canister and some other build there you've also got like a lamp or a lantern or something but what's cool is right here in the back I believe that's meant to actually be a web canister like one of the web fluids which is pretty cool and up on the top we do actually have one of the web pieces you know from the web bags there that you just attach there on the stud sticking out of the wall but moving across over here we've got a bit of a safety hazard I would say having this amazing candelabra piece here right next to the couch so very easy to catch on fire but i really love this piece it was introduced this year in 2021 it is absolutely amazing you can have the figures holding it anywhere really from the ends and uh yeah it looks really really cool and then here you've also got a couch which honestly looks pretty good i like the design of it as well as a controller their little gaming controller which i'm gonna say is a playstation controller given the fact that they actually do call it a playstation in the spider layer set from this year which you could check a review out for if you want to and then you've got that bike hanging there which attaches the exact same way as the web on the other side and i just actually removed the wheel but honestly this thing it drives really well it's very smooth and if you wanted to you could take one of the figures there and uh, if you've never seen how these bikes work or just lego bikes in general you then can put their hands on the rails and just have them biking about so yeah really really smooth 
and the rest of the workshop is pretty neat honestly you've got a bunch of tools there in silver which is in its own little bag and then you've also got one of those like little gem crystal pieces there not quite sure what that is but here in the bottom drawer you've actually got a wrench as well as a needle in yellow which I personally have never gotten and the top drawer though is empty and inside this crate here you've actually got two little crystals which are green there and red and you've also got a wine bottle or something or a bottle of alcohol you've also got a chalice there and in behind one of the city crystals there on top of the chima crystals which is pretty cool and spinning it around here on the back you can see that in the back there you've got a spider on the top as well as a pink crystal on the inside and a little statue there and you can see what that crystal by the way from city looks like here on the back it's really really cool looking and you've also got a dark blue scorpion but honestly the part that i want to focus on here is actually i think this is meant to be like the cauldron or whatever where strange is casting the spell so i think that is really interesting that we do get that here i'm pretty sure that is actually what that is meant to be and here is, as the description of the set calls it, the giant bug monster. No, this is not Scorpion. It is very clearly not Scorpion, seeing as... Oh, where's the tail? Where's... Do you, do you see the tail? I'm confused. The You know, the, the main thing that you would think of with the Scorpion is the tail. I'm confused. Where, where is it? But anyways, if you want to think it's Scorpion, go ahead. Uh, I, this is just another monster that they've put in a Doctor Strange set. Uh, it is very clear to me that that's what it is, but I'd love to be proven wrong. I'd love for Scorpion to be in the movie, but uh, I love the sticker here on the top. It is very, very detailed, and this bug face, I think, looks really great. The pincers in the front there, uh, I'm not uh, an in insect expert, or e even if, uh, you know, it's a... I'm just going to stop trying to uh, sound intelligent when it comes to this, but the claws here are great. They are actually able to open and close, and you could put a figure on the inside there and actually have it holding it which is pretty great and there's a lot of posability here you can kind of see that there on the shoulders here as well as the arms can actually rotate around and this head can bend forward and back a little bit as well the head can twist and look up and down also but besides that uh, the feet here the weird creepy little tentacles can actually move around as well and these you could kind of angle around if you wanted to and just kind of twist and turn them i like the build there in the back i think that looks really great and just the colors the dark green the olive the black pretty cool looking uh, monster here for doctor strange here is the brand new integrated suit from no way home and this is on all three of the boxes it's part of the main art for it and it looks really cool i love the gold there as well as just the pattern they're using i think that's dark tan in there to actually give it a bit of detail on the gold spider-man symbol really really cool the legs are dual molded which is just incredible the fact that they're dual molded and has such cool printing there some gold on the bottom looks great no arm printing though which honestly don't really have a problem with because the rest of the figure is so detailed this head is the exact same head that appears in the other four plus set but also the minifigure series which we will actually take a closer look at that figure in a second because i know a lot of you want to see that cape but here on the back it actually has a the back symbol there which is just as detailed as the front one with the different gold effect there which looks great and i just think that uh, it's such an incredibly detailed looking figure and here is Doctor Strange, and I think that a lot of people are excited for this figure, not just to get Doctor Strange, but also to get Mephisto for the first time. <laughs> Gotta throw that in there. But no, this cape piece is incredible. I didn't think I was going to like it, but that now that I see it in person here and how it just kind of looks like it's it's just levitating there for uh, lack or... or to, it's just levitating there, you know, to, to kind of play on that. I, I think it looks great. I, I love the effect here. It, it, it is the same sort of material that they have the Batman 89 cape made out of. So it is a little bit squishy. It's not very squishy, but really, really cool. 
the hair as well you could see how it's actually the superman hair here but it's got some really cool printing there on the sides for his uh, white hair on the sides so i really love the printing on that that's going to have a ton of uses outside of this as well as i've got the angry expression because maybe he's evil maybe maybe he's not but the rest of the figure here i, I just got to take off the cape to show you um I'll, I'll show you how it works here so you just remove the hair and then you got to lift up the head here and it just it just sits there it just sits on in very easily and it's kind of loose but uh incredible you can see how it actually will grab onto the top of the torso there but just to show you what this looks like here, you could get a better look at the torso printing as well as the leg printing. So I'm not sure. Maybe this will actually be re reused next year in his own movie sets. But on the back, he does have this little smiling expression. Would have loved for it to be the wink from the trailer, but nonetheless, really great. I love the blue lining there and just the detail that adds on the back of the torso here as well as on the front. And because I know I'm going to be asked... Can you do this? Could you please put it on the zombie hunter Spidey? Here it is. And I think that this new cape piece is really cool. And it's kind of a shame that it wasn't in the CMS series, but I, I get why it wasn't, obviously, and how fabric is probably better for that. And here is Wong. And I really love this look. Technically speaking, this is the first ever time he is appearing in a set because he was originally only in the Bricktober pack. So I'm glad people are going to be able to grab this character and also he has a brand new face print there which is going to have so many uses so many people are already using it for shang chi which i think looks really great and honestly the most disappointing thing about this figure here kind of to just jump ahead a bit is actually the fact that on the back there's no second face come on why not you're covering it like such a missed opportunity but the back torso printing i love the hood wherever he's going it is very cold or i guess it's just cold in the sanctum really so i wish that honestly that dr strange had that variant that we saw in the trailer just his sort of casual look with that winter jacket on just because like we're probably going to see him next year in his regular sort of outfit but anyways it is still very detailed i love the purple there and the dark red looks really really great um unfortunately this is like a winter version so you don't really have access to regular wong but for now this is the best that we've got maybe next year with the movie he'll appear in another set and i'm sure they'll reuse this face and speaking of reuses None of MJ here is new. The face was introduced back from Far From Home, and this torso is actually from Harry Potter this year. So a little sad about that, but honestly, I still think that this works really well for her. I really like this hairpiece in dark brown, and the face, I think, looks just like her. They really got her expressions here, especially with this back one, I think. I just really love the torso printing in general. I think it is very, very detailed, and I'm really happy with it. But anyways, everyone, I would love to hear your thoughts on this set. What do you think of really our only No Way Home set that we have? Because the other ones are just loosely tied to it and inspired by the past movies, which I think is a cool idea. I just really want to get some of the villains that are in this movie, so hopefully we'll get more in the future. But I love the just... Getting the Sanctum again is really great. Getting Strange and Wong in here was such a cool surprise. I think Strange was kind of a given, but to get Wong, really great. Glad that he's finally in a set. And I love that Spider-Man suit, and I really hope we get more again from this movie. But I'd love to hear your thoughts about this. What do you think of it? Do you think it's worth the price? I, I think, honestly... From the size of the set and the figures you're getting and all the detail and all the stickers, I definitely think it's it's worth it. But be sure to subscribe, turn on that bell notification so you don't miss out on future LEGO Marvel superheroes news and reviews. It's that time of year. We've got more reviews to come from Marvel and a ton of news for 2022 that will drop any day now. But I hope you guys did enjoy this video and I hope you all have a great day. I'll see you all in the next one.